the main tip that I would give to a prospective student would be to reach out to your potential advisors, tell them what your interests are and what kind of DFIL project you hope to carry out. Um, they can give you helpful advice from the get-go for sure. Um, and they can also give you real ex realistic expectations about what the program is like and what the work might be like. The information that I looked at before I applied was definitely the departmental website. Um, there's a ton of helpful and relevant information on the site, and I know I was looking at it religiously. The good thing about it is it also doesn't give too much information. It was kind of just everything that I needed. Um, so definitely read through the website. Um, in my case, I also reached out to a, a recent graduate from my program, and I was able to have a phone call with her. And she gave me a lot of helpful advice as well, um, just sort of what it was like being a DPhil student, but also she gave me an insight into the people I might be working with, and, and that was super helpful as well. The interview went by very quickly. Um, so to start off with, I practiced several times with friends and colleagues before the interview. So I was quite confident going into it. And I, I really think that gave me a boost um, when I was actually live with the, the panel of professors. Um, there's a five minute presentation that I gave. And then after which there's a 25 minute Q&A session where that panel of professors ask questions about the project, about the methods, and to be honest, it was a complete blur. It went by so quickly. Yeah, so I chose the DPhil in population health for several reasons. Um, first of all, I, I could already tell through my emails with my advisors that they were very supportive. Um, and that was really an important consideration for me. Um, but also the bioethics group here that I would be working with, and so my DPhil is in bioethics. Um, they're sort of leading the forefront on empirical um, data collection methodologies. And so I really wanted to understand better um, their thinking uh, through interacting with them. And so I, I think those were some of my main reasons for joining this department. The best thing about living in Oxford is definitely the people you get to interact with. Uh, they're all extremely bright and interesting. They hail from all different corners of the globe. And I don't know, they, they all bring sort of a wealth of experiences with them. So it, it's been really lovely chatting with them and kind of seeing the world through their eyes. Studying during the lockdown has been interesting for sure. Um, so unlike my peers in the sciences and physics who need to go into the laboratory to conduct their experiments, all I really need for my DPhil is a, a laptop computer and access to the internet and with those two, I'm able to carry out the work that I need to do. And so I've been uh, interacting with my advisors. We've had Skype calls together and they've been very supportive. Um, and I, I've been able to attend all the seminars and talks that I've wanted to through Zoom meetings. Actually, the lockdown has kind of been nice because uh, it's removed a lot of the distractions that might normally go about in Oxford um, during term time. And so I've been able to focus in my work um, in a way that I might not have been able to in normal times. And it, it's actually been really nice to take a deep dive and sort of focus on my research in this way. So it, it's been a good experience.